restaurant audience. Welcome back to another show of Restaurant Magic. This is The Hotness, and I'm joined by my co-host, Sweet Link. And we just want to say thank you for listening in. And for those of you who may not know, we're just foodies. We've been eating for years. So what does that make us, Sweet Link? Food experts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, food <laughs> experts. You know, we interview restaurant owners, caterers, food truck, culinary artists, chefs, sous chefs, catering managers. We just love anything connected with food. And today joining us, we have Ashlyn. She is the catering manager of Viva Chicken in Raleigh, North Carolina. So welcome, Ashlyn. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, well, we are so excited about you, us being here at Viva Chicken. We love this food. And as... Um, you know it's very healthy as well. So what is it helping you do, Hotness? Uh, maintaining my um, gorgeous figure, <laughs> um, blood pressure. Um, I think it helps with my eyesight too because they have a lot of veggies. I think they got carrot in your, you know, your ch your chicken noodle soup. It's the quinoa. All about the quinoa. <laughs> quinoa. Yeah. yeah. So Ashlyn, how did you get connected with Viva Chicken? Yeah. So I've been with Viva Chicken since um, May of this past year. Um, the restaurant itself, as a company, has been um, in business since 2013, but I just came on board in May. Um, I actually came on board from working with my general manager, who's the current general manager here, in the past job. So we worked together in the past, and he contacted me and asked me what I was doing and you know where I was and kind of if I was interested in hearing anything at all about Viva, Viva Chicken, and I said, no, not right now, I don't think so. And then I didn't learn a little bit more, and um, as soon as I tasted the food, I went down to Charlotte for a day, spent some time in real life in one of the restaurants there, I was hooked. And so immediately I was like, sign me up, let's do this. So I um, yeah, have been with Viva ever since. I, I love that story because, you know, it's all about just connecting with people that truly mm -hmm. appreciate the value that you bring. And so for your GM to say, hey, Ashlyn, what you doing? Come with me yeah. to be a chicken. That speaks very highly of you and your, and your skills yeah. and of the chicken that's involved no. with Viva Chicken. <laughs> she did say once she tasted the food, she was hooked and she stayed. So I think that's everybody. Everybody, once you try it, <laughs> we say what, first you crave and no first you rave then you crave that's okay. it so you rave about it you become a raving fan then you can't stop thinking about the food I and it's very true because I I tasted some Peruvian chicken from different places mm -hmm. but what you guys do here at Viva Chicken I mean it's just really well done I Thank mean you. and you know what I like most are the portions oh yeah it's super shy <laughs> ample they're humongous <laughs> so you're getting your money's worth yes you are Viva's chicken yes and so with that being said, since you've been here, what are some of the dishes that you like? Oh, okay. For your audience, it's called the Naked Peruvian. It's wow. my favorite. <laughs> it's um, it's a wrap, and we have it in a sun-dried tomato tortilla. It's got the organic red quinoa, avocado. I get chicken with mine, so it's our pulled rotisserie chicken, feta cheese. It's got a lot of just the, the superfoods that come with, um, you know, our Peruvian specialties. And it's all in a wrap, and it comes with a side. Amazing. That's my favorite. So for our listeners that don't know what quinoa is, what is oh, quinoa? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a superfood. It's an or, uh, Ours is an organic red quinoa. It's a small grain from, mm -hmm. um, I think, native to Peru. Um, we serve ours cold, so we cook it, and then it has cilantro, um, onions, peppers, all mixed in. Um, it rests, and we serve it, and it is amazing. It's just really healthy. Mm -hmm. It's Super just so healthy. healthy. So how many locations are there of Viva Kitchen? Yeah, so there's 13 locations in total. Um, we're based out of Charlotte, so we have um, the hub or down in Charlotte of all the restaurants. Um, we are the first location in the Raleigh Triangle area, so here in North Hills. Um, we just opened Greensboro um, a week ago, which is yay! Been super congratulations! Well, thank you, thank you. Kudos. Um, and then we also have one in Wilmington, Delaware, as well as Utah, St. George, Utah. So kind of all over the place. Um, we have our sights set on many other places, I'm sure. So I don't know that. Absolutely. They're yeah. branching out west, audience. I mean, you better go get you some Beba Chicken ASAP because it's really good, right, Sweetly? It's awesome. So you are the catering manager. Yes, ma'am. So tell us what that details, Ashley. Yeah. So my job is to do anything and everything that has to do 
with food outside the four walls. So I manage all of the catering orders from requests to um, people just having questions about group gatherings and I, hey, I want to feed a larger group of people. Um, so I handle all of the in and outs of the daily catering business. So a catering order is generally when you have um, a group of, we'll say 10 or more okay. that you want to have um, a meal for, whether it be in an office setting um, or at your home or at a business or a church. Um, it's not here at the restaurant. So we take the food to you. Um, we do have delivery, we have set up, all of that is available. Um, we do also in addition to that, have a catering program where you can pick the food up if you want, so you don't have to have it delivered, like if you're just coming on your way home and want to grab food. Um, but so really, I manage all of the details that go along with taking an order down to delegating all the tasks for the order, getting the food and drinks prepared, just talking with the kitchen. Um, I meet daily with our kitchen manager to talk about the prep for the following day. Um, and just stay super hyper organized um, is my role. Um, I communicate with all of the managers about you know upcoming events and part of my other I guess role is to do marketing. So I um, will take all, everything that Viva Chicken has out into the community and do some sampling, tastings, um, and go out and meet with different people in the community and um, just kind of the face outside of the restaurant. Okay, this is really interesting to me because mm -hmm. I don't think I've been invited to a Viva Chicken tasting. Have you, <laughs> Sweetly? I have not, but I'm pretty sure we will. Yes. <laughs> Ashlyn, where do you go to find people to do actual tasting? Oh, that's that's a good question. So, um, all about being organized. There, I could, you know, just simply walk up and down, just drive up and down Six yeah. Forks and, and run into someone. Um, but more so, I use or I utilize Google Maps as a tool um, that allows me to pinpoint different locations and then make a plan. So um, on a daily basis, I'll make a plan of, you know, about five to seven rest or businesses that I'd like to target um, and then go ahead and make a plan. And then we do what's called edible hellos as a sample. And so we'll just make small samples of some of our most popular foods, um, specifically targeted for catering. And we'll go um, and just drop into those businesses and a friendly face and say hi, bring them some menus and a couple of little samples. And then, um, you know, there's no no strings attached. Just enjoy the food. I hope that, you know, it makes your day a little bit brighter. And here's a menu. Keep Absolutely. In mind. I mean, we I can easily just be a part of that. Just let me know your next spot when you're <laughs> dropping in. And I <laughs> just want to eat. Yes, <laughs> I, I do. But um, audience, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with Ashlyn from Biba Chicken. Shouldn't laws be black and white? Doesn't everyone deserve the same treatment? For 15 year old Gemini Berry, the answers are obvious. But then a crime shocks Gemini's small town and she learns that many adults see things in shades of gray. In Mika Chanel's novel, Just As the Sky is Blue, Gemini Berry is forced to grow up fast when her mother agrees to play a central role in a sensational murder trial that tears her small town apart. As the trial spins out of control, secrets are revealed and old deaths are settled and Gemini's life is ultimately changed forever. Order Mika Chanel's book, Just As the Sky is Blue. Just As the Sky is Blue is available on Amazon.com, Kindle, and Audible.com. All right, audience, and we're back with Viva Chicken, and we are talking to Ashlyn, and she is the catering manager, and she is just informing us of how she does her job. She sounds very busy. Very busy. You know, <laughs> very organized, very busy. And I'm very people person. Yeah, you have to be that to does to do what she does. So I wanted to ask her two questions. First of all, how many hours in a day that you're here? What does your day consist of? And um do you enjoy what you do? Oh, I love what I do. I wouldn't be here if I didn't love what I do. I, I actually live over an hour away, so I drive here every day, and I, to me, working at Viva is just ten times better than any other job. Sorry, this is the catering phone going off right now, oh, actually. Oh, that's okay. Um, all right. Um, no, and let's see. My day consists of usually about a 
eight hours, sometimes less, sometimes more, just depending on what's going on for the day. Um, I work five days a week, um, six on just a really rare occasion. It's usually about 40 hours a week. Um, and so I usually kick off my day at 9 a.m. Um, and then get going. I, my day usually starts off with whatever caterings we have lined up for. Mostly lunch is um, when our catering happens. So we'll get everything organized and ready to go out the door um, and actually go on deliveries. And then I'll come back to the restaurant um, and then help out with any lunch rush that might be going on in the restaurant to kind of lend an extra hand. Um, then the day shifts into preparing for the following day's orders, just making sure that I'm organized with everything else to you know, give everyone the information. Um, I also follow up with every catering order from earlier in the day to make sure that we give a chance for feedback um, and see how everything went. Um, I always sit down and write a handwritten thank you letter to every order um, and send them a $5 gift card. So for every day we do that. And then I also will check my marketing plan for the day and see what do I have going on. Um, if I have an opportunity, then I will go do those edible hellos um, and then come back and usually wrap up, sit down with the, the kitchen managers or whoever needs to be um, in the know about tomorrow, write a daily email, a summary of the day, and then the plan for tomorrow and call it a day. Wow. I love the making it personal, writing the letter and yes. sending it to it because yes. I, I brought up an item from a um, small um, business owner and I got a, something in the mail and I was like who is this because I didn't remember her mm -hmm. name and I opened it up it was just like the prettiest card mm -hmm. and it was like I hope you enjoy she even knew what I bought you yeah. know and you're um, utilizing it well and it just made me like oh I'm definitely mm -hmm. going to go back to her so that is a great trait well, that um, Fever Chicken has yeah. and uh, I just I can applaud you because you are very 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 nice uh, I see that now and that I, I'm pretty sure people just, you know, get along with you and, and say, wow, I need that smile around here. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I enjoyed working with you. And um, I was going to ask you, now, I know you prepare catering to mm -hmm. go out. Yes. And then they're cooking in the restaurant yes. as well. Is that two different staffs or is that one kitchen no, doing all this? No, it's one doing everything. Wow. Yeah, so we have a multi faceted group of people back there. Um, so most of the, actually all of the food is prepared um, for the catering in the exact same preparation style as what you would get in the restaurant. It's just in bulk. So we do it in larger quantities. Um, there are a few different, um, not recipe changes, but the quantities um, of just how much goes in certain items. Um, but yeah, all of our chicken comes out of the rotisserie oven that's imported from Lima, Peru, the same that you would get here in what? the restaurant. Yeah, we actually bring the giant oven on a plane from Peru. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that's, that's authentic. Yes, it is. That, thank you for saying that. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's your Thank you. So with these special ovens from Peru, Ashlyn, do you ever get the feeling like, I'm going to get behind that stove and start whipping up something and just become a chef Ooh. yourself? Do you ever have that desire? I'm a home chef. I don't necessarily, you know, I'm going to leave what they do on the line to them because they're the experts and well-trained with um, our team here at home. I, I give it a go. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm chef too, so I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I let my creativity fly. Well, where do you see yourself about five years from now? Do you see yourself owning one of these Viva Chicken restaurants? Well, we're not franchised. So we're all corporately owned. So okay. we do have, um, you know, our home office is down in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I won't, don't see myself owning one. Cause, mm -hmm. um, no. Um, I see myself with Viva and who knows kind of where um, the, the plans will lie. Mm -hmm. I would love to continue working in the catering field. Um, I do have a background in restaurant management, so before this I was okay. a general manager of another restaurant as well as an assistant general manager to, with John, my current um, boss that, you know, we work so together here. So this has been your again. career yeah. for a while. Uh, I've been in restaurants since I was 18, okay. yeah. So, she I'm knows what she's doing, audience. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a background <laughs> of it. So, okay. um, I do. I see myself staying in restaurants as a passion. You know, there's many other things that I could or you know, could be doing, could be doing. this is where I feel super comfortable, um, I meet new people every day like yourselves, and I get to, you know, put smiles on people's faces, feed their hungry bellies, and that just 
just is super rewarding to me. Well, food is the way to anybody's heart. But with that being said, and all the experience that you have, what would you tell our audience who is wanting to be in the catering business? Um, it pays to know people. Connections are super important. Networking. Burn the bridge. Mm -hmm. I would say that networking. Yep. Um, I think catering specifically is a very um, interpersonal job like you have to have a good amount of people and social skills learn um, what social cues are and know how to read other people um, and you know a lot of pleases and thank yous and just being ultra polite um, I think when you have a good product like our food it sells mm. itself true it's, mm, you know true. the food is is in Consistency. I would also say the consistency is probably really important. You know, you have a, one chance for a first impression. If you do that well, that's great. But you have to be able to do that over and over again to really build a customer base and to build like a, a strong business mm -hmm. is to have consistency. So I think those are good things to to have. Yeah. Absolutely. And one of the things that I also love about Viva Chicken are the sauces. Yes. So that's something I think is unique to Viva Chicken. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to just elaborate? Because I can't describe mm -hmm. them, but I know my favorite one is like, I think it's like a, um, it's a pinkish color. Okay. So like, is it like a yum yum sauce? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it reminds me of. But it, yeah. They freshly made every day? They are. Yes. Yeah. So every morning we make all of our sauces from scratch from authentic Peruvian ingredients. We had three different kinds of our our standard uh, signature sauces. We have the ahi amarillo sauce, which is that's the one. It's yellow, it? yeah, oh, and it's yes. Um, yes. yeah, that one <laughs> is the most popular. Well, they're all popular, <laughs> but um, it's got the mildest flavor. But again, the ahi pepper is native to Peru. Um, then we have a wakatai, which is the green uh, wakatai. <laughs> uh, Spicy. It's medium level heat, okay, so it's okay. got jalapenos, uh -huh. cilantro. Um, you should like, like that. Black and I mint. Do. It's really, really yummy stuff. Um, and then our third is very hot. We call it the Gringo Killer. It's the <laughs> <laughs> it's the more pink like color. That. <laughs> yeah, Gringo Killer for the hotness. I'll take there it. There you go. And that one's called ricotto. And that's from a ricotto pepper, which again is a super spicy pepper from Peru. And so all of those are available at two. Our restaurant specifically has two sauce bars. Um, so our the public is help help yourself to as much as you can possibly handle of all of our sauces and part of the catering program um, you do get you receive 12 ounce bottles of our sauce for um, for doing the catering that's part of what it's included okay. um, super popular the one of the reasons why folks will order from us over and over again is because of just the delicious sauces yeah and you have to have them well look for those that have never been to Viva's Chicken, what is the most popular selling dish? So if you're looking yeah. at the menu and you're not sure on what to mm -hmm. get, what would you suggest? What's the we got to get our chicken. It's our pollo a la brasa, which means roast tissery oven chicken. Um, okay. And so we sell quarters, halves, and whole chickens um, with sides. I would say that's the most popular. Um, but our second most popular and probably most um, Mispronounced would be the <laughs> arroz chalpa. Yeah, arroz chalpa. Yes. I'll <laughs> so be pointing up there. Give me yeah. that right there, please. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a Peruvian fried rice. It's going to have a jasmine white rice. It's going to be sauteed with scrambled eggs, gluten free soy sauce, ginger puree, and then it's going to have peppers, onions. You can choose to have rotisserie pulled chicken or steak or keep it vegetarian. And it is. it comes in a huge yes, portion yes. of rice. Yes, yes. With green onions, yes. scallions on top. Yes, it's has amazing. Steak. Yes, yes, <laughs> Viva Chicken has steak. Okay, yes. <laughs> we missed it. Back it up. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the steak. It is good. It's a <laughs> marinated steak. It's going to be like tender pieces. Um, we serve it in any of our, like our taku bowl, which is our version of a rice and bean bowl. You can get that with steak. We also have a wrap called the Wow Lomito, which is um, it's going to have our marinated steak, onions, and peppers onions and tomatoes all in a wrap, um, as well as a super popular dish called the Classic Saltado, which is our version of a Lomo Saltado, beef with um, onions and tomatoes served over french fries, which are award-winning, voted oh, yes. in Charlotte, number yes. one french fry of yes. all Charlotte. Yes. 
Yes. And yes. Jasmine Rice. I've, yeah. I've, I've had those French fries and audience, they are so delicious. I wish I could just <laughs> bathe in them, but I, I, I can't bathe <laughs> no, in French fries. No. But um, <laughs> we're going to take a quick commercial break because Sweetly's <laughs> looking at me really weird right now because I just wanted to say I want to bathe in French fries. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Announcing the Everyday Black 2019 Entrepreneur Virtual Conference. Attend and learn from businessmen and women that are actually doing it. Expand your network exponentially, regardless of geographical location, and begin doing business globally. Put your products and services in front of the eyes and ears of prospective customers and partners all over the world. The date of the conference is June 6 and 7, 2019. Register now, because obtainable wealth is within you. So sign up today for the Every Dot Black 2019 Entrepreneur Virtual Conference at www.everydotblack slash conference, E-V-E-R-Y dot D-L-A-C-K slash conference. So give us a call at 919-265-8045 or sign up online at www.everydotblack slash conference. Welcome back, audience. We're here with Ashlyn. She is the catering manager of Viva Chicken here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're just so delighted by her. She's just like, you know, one of those people you just gravitate to because they're so nice and friendly. And plus, she's talking to us about food. So we really just adore her. <laughs> Viva Chicken, are we at? We're in North Hills, everybody. So, you know, come on down. But don't come until after you finish listening to this interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, Ashlyn, what does your um, your family think about your career? Like, what inspired you to get into the restaurant business? Um, I actually have a degree in elementary education from UNC Chapel Hill. Oh, nice. Yeah, and so I had lofty goals of being an elementary school teacher for, you know, growing up. Um, and when I graduated, it was in 2008 during the recession, and a lot of um, jobs were not there was no jobs to be had, let's just say that. So I was just serving and bartending at the time um, and was working in you know, a restaurant and whoever saw potential, I guess saw potential and asked if I would join the leadership team just as a, like a shift manager. Um, and so I did at the time thinking, okay, this will just be temporary. And I loved it and I have never looked back. I have always been um, just super drawn to being in the restaurants just because there's a different there's just so much going on. Um, mm -hmm. It's a different vibe every day. You meet new people, like I said. Um, there's always something to problem solve. Um, I just feel I really feel alive when I work in the restaurant. So I've worked in a lot of different styles of restaurants, um, from like a more formal setting to a fast casual to all different kinds, um, and really have just found my groove. My family is super supportive. They know that this is my career path and that it is successful. It's not just like a a job that I, you know, jump around hoping for the next one to be better. Um, yeah, they're super supportive. Well, they probably have a couple of um, good. Um, let me see. What is the word I'm trying to say? They probably have a couple of. They're good also hungry, perks. Oh. right? Yeah, <laughs> from you working <laughs> yeah. in a restaurant because you like, try this and you bring <laughs> goodies home and things of that nature. But I wanted to ask you. From you said you started working in the restaurant business when in the 80s. No, um, in 2008. 2008, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 2008. 2008. I was born in the oh, 80s. Born yeah. in the 80s. Yeah, I was going to say you couldn't have been. Okay, she's, she's really pretty, y'all. So, um, from 2008 mm -hmm. up until present, what is the major change that you have seen in the restaurant business? Uh, okay, so... I the, my first restaurant job was at a Red Robin, so that yeah. was a oh, I love Red Robin. yeah. It's a casual restaurant. Yeah. It's more like a you know a family style a sit down where you're served by a waiter or server, mm -hmm. um, and so that's where I started just being a server. Um, I also worked at a place called Champs, which I'm is sure. Champs Americana. Yep. Is so it was a sports bar. <laughs> so I mean, I worked there for like almost five and some years. Um, I worked. That's where I got my management at the beginning. Um, I'm laughing because you made me do karaoke the other Oh yeah. <laughs> this is how I named God. <laughs> 
all of a sudden I hear this lady talking about the hotness and sweetly, and I'm like, Yo, who is that? my goodness. And she had put us down the thing. Yes. And that's how we got those names. So, did you do the, was this at Triangle Town Center on yes. a Friday night? It's raining men. With DJ Diva? Yeah. 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 Yeah.